Ah, it's almost over. Just two weeks of the semester. I hope everybody liked the videos that I've been playing and have enjoyed seeing my family. I hope they get stuff out of the videos too. And I really hope that students' wild dreams have come true with this class. I guess I'll never know. I can just hope. But it is time to get started. So here we go. Welcome to week five. There's only two weeks left. Wardrobe! It's family time. Welcome to week five, videoing a product. We'll have some samples of things and I'll go over some uh, concepts that will help you with uh, these last two weeks and your last big product, which is gonna be making a, a video commercial for that uh, product that you've been playing around with. But first we gotta get to the final project, all right? So let's take a look at that and we'll back up to the proposal that you'll be uh, writing in just a minute. Video and the product. So I'll just scroll down to the assignment instructions here. It's going to be a 30 to 60 seconds long video ad about the product you selected. I'm expecting you to have a clear beginning, middle, and end. Uh, you know, non-pixelated visual imagery should, uh, you know, clear audio, use tripods to make your video stable, or some some way to do it. I mean, if you don't have a tripod, you can, I'm sure, figure it out by uh, getting your phone to, or your camera, whatever you're going to use to, to, to balance. Um, and uh, there's some other constraints. So the video should be start from scratch. Now you can use uh, cap, cap wing or cap wing. I'm not sure how they're pronouncing it. Um, and you could use any other, you know, uh, video editor that you're comfortable with. Like if you want to use iMovie, uh, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere Rush, or even Adobe Express has some video editing software. And I think YouTube does still too, though I, they might have gotten rid of it. If you have any questions, just email me and I'll help, help you figure it out. Um, again, look for Creative Commons uh, sources for the video and the audio. Um, one thing uh, that you know you may want to do is your video's got to, or that you got to do is have a, at least one interview or a testimonial from a person. Um, so this should be like a parent. You could use kids. Uh, I say no kids unless it's like Creative Commons stuff that's available. But that wouldn't be like an interview. Um, so uh, those are uh, some of the the task constraints. Um, again, let me know uh, if you have any questions. But first, we are to the proposal. So let me head back to Blackboard. And that's what's due this week. You're visualizing a text proposal. It's for the video that you're going to be created, creating. It's very similar to all the other ones. This is kind of a draft. going to tell me a, a little bit about what you're going to do. You can change this, of course, as you develop your idea. But again, this is just sort of your plan. Uh, for this, try to do uh, or do some different research, rather. So find out some new things. You can do research about STEM. Uh, and good, you know, what counts is like good STEM um, practice for uh, for learning what are what are good toys, you know, research toy culture, uh, what kind of toys engage uh, kids, that kind of thing could be could be important. You could do research on uh, popular commercials and and how they work uh, and why they work so well. So these kind of things are, are extra research that you can do just to learn a little bit more. So again, that's the research sort of thing I'm expecting. Um, again, it's, it's just kind of like what we've done uh, from the past. If you do have any questions, please uh, let me know. So uh, we're going to talk about B-roll and visual evidence today, and I really encourage you to watch some commercials because a lot of commercials do this stuff really well with visual evidence. Uh, so if you get a chance to go back and want to watch this, you can. Um, but this is a My Buddy commercial. I still want one. It's one of the catchiest uh, commercials, and it's got a lot of visual evidence showing right uh, what can be done uh, with this toy uh, because all it is really is just it's just a doll right? Just a doll, but they've made it into something really cool by showing uh, what can be done with it. And also, I think part of it is trying to break into the boy culture uh, with this doll. So uh, anyway, here it goes. I can still sing this. I won't, but I still can. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. I'll teach him everything that I know. My buddy and me, like the son of a tree. My buddy, 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 my
Uh, okay, let's go on to another one. This uh, was actually kind of an award-winning commercial uh, that, you know, is this narrative story about these robot aliens. And uh, it's it's pretty engaging. It does that thing where it really gets your attention and, you know, then kind of shames people for, for using uh, fresh mashed potatoes. Uh, so here we go. Let's take a look at it. And again, keep in mind, what is B-roll? What is visual evidence? How do these work so well? On your last trip, did you discover what the Earth people eat? They eat a great many of these. They peel them with their metal knives. Boil them for 20 of their minutes. Then they smash them all to bits. They are clearly the most primitive people. For mash, get smash. First, we're going to talk about B-roll. So it's not evidence, it's just illustration. So it's the kind of thing that you uh, watch while someone's telling you about something, uh, as opposed to, you know, uh, showing you about something. So, you know, you could have something called visual evidence, which we'll get to in just a minute, and you'll read about it next week, or, or B-roll. So you may want to use B-roll uh, for some of the things that you do, uh, but then to really prove that this is going to be uh, the toy for you, you're going to want to use that visual evidence, because that, that works a lot better for really supporting your argument uh, that you're trying to make to convince people to buy this product. So again, B-roll, it's not evidence, it's just illustration. It's thinking that verbal evidence is the most important thing and accepting that what people tell you instead of going out and seeing it for yourself. It's like visual wall wallpaper, visual metaphor. A lot of times like the flag is used um, when you're talking over things like patriotism is just showing this flag. It's not actually talking about a flag or anything like that. It's talking about other, other things. Uh, A-roll is uh, that primary footage. Uh, it's the main meat of what you're shooting. It's your primary actors, your dialogue and the storyline uh, that you're telling. So you've got that A-roll and B-roll, and the A-roll would be where you're doing that visual evidence and that kind of thing. Here's an example of B-roll, just kind of a funny video. You might enjoy it. Uh, all right, here we go. Do you need shots of ordinary people doing things for your next commercial? We got that B-roll. We got that B-roll. Two men pointing at an office file? We got that B-roll. Bored man flipping through channels? We got that B-roll. Angry man in traffic? Yeah, we got that B-roll. What do you want him to wear? Casual? Upscale casual? Business? We got that B-roll. Why does he look so upset? Maybe he's late for work. Nope, he's at work. He's a B-roll actor. Happy couple walking on the beach? We got that B-roll. Want that happy couple to kiss? No problem. Want him to get a little fresh with the lady? Done. Hey, you two, cut it out and stay at the ocean so I can get B-roll of that. That's better. What a nice view of the ocean. That's B-roll of the ocean. Think that's all the B-roll we got? Not even close. Overwhelmed man trying to pay bills? Yeah, we got it. Frustrated man looking for a job in the paper? You know we got it. And lunch meeting success. Hey, look, that's me. I like my B-roll so much I'm in it. Kurt Gibson hitting a game-winning home run in the 88 World Series. No! That's too specific. That is not B-roll. Doctor talking to smiling patient. We got that B-roll. Man having trouble sleeping. Got it. What's his problem? He doesn't like being in B-roll? I was just in some B-roll and I loved it. The sneezer. Backing. Headache. And depressed woman touching a wall. Why is she touching the wall? I don't know. That's what depressed people do, right? Don't judge the B-roll. Listen, we got all that B-roll and thousands more. So come on down to our B-roll warehouse. Just kidding. That's B-roll. I fooled you, see? That's how good our B-roll is. We got that B-roll. We got that B-roll. You know we do. To order your B-roll, call 1-800-BBB-ROLL. That's 1-800-BBB-ROLL. Call now. Okay, so B-roll is different from visual evidence, and visual evidence works to tell your story through the images. So you see behaviors, uh, there's words and actions that line up together, uh, and it's about, you know, reading people and the situations and letting people read uh, those people. Um, so uh, an example of the difference between B-roll and visual evidence uh, we can see here. Uh, so this would not be good visual evidence, right? Uh, it could work as B-roll, but it's trying to be visual evidence. So in a documentary about a protest march, you can see a narrator says 20,000 protesters took the streets in protest. It's not exactly B-roll here. It is actually just a lie, right? It's not showing us that. It's not proving uh, the dialogue or giving us visual evidence for what's being said. The visual evidence, again, says otherwise, you know, we'd think the person was lying. <clears throat> so we can think also about how we're going to shoot these things. So how would you interpret or shoot the statement below in one shot? The boy runs towards the camera. There's no problem, right? Straightforward shot. You see a boy, you record it running towards the camera. But let's try another one. The frightened boy runs toward the camera. Okay, this isn't too difficult. Uh, 
uh, sorry, you'd have just the boy looking frightened, running towards the camera, uh, or see something that scared him, see his reaction, see the behavior, runs toward the camera. This one is a little bit more difficult. What about the statement in one shot? The intelligent boy runs toward the camera. Okay, it's probably not going to be one shot. You've got to establish the boy doing something intelligent, solving a problem, uh, maybe doing something with your uh, imaginator paper or with your um, uh, dyeing the mop uh, in, into a different color, uh, showing, you know, there's some kind of intelligence there and then running towards the camera. So that one, to get that visual evidence, you're going to have to do a little bit more. Um, so again, establishing intelligence and then the shot of him running. Uh, so those two things. This is pretty B-roll-y, so uh, I just asked a question, some examples of B-roll. Uh, this one starts out pretty B-roll, uh, and then we'll we'll move on uh, to an example of more visual evidence. And again, take a look back, if you want to scrub back to the beginning uh, of just seeing my buddy and me, and also that uh, story uh, being told by the, the alien robots about mashed potatoes. Because for me, there's a lot of visual evidence there, like showing what you can do, especially with the toy, that it's not just for playing with your friends, uh, it's also for maybe when you're watching TV or you're lonely, it shows this evidence, this boy with this toy uh, that's helping him get through maybe a scary movie or just, just being a, a buddy. All right, so here's some B-roll on this. I don't like what I see happening to America. The infrastructure of our country is a laughing stock all over the world. Our airports, our bridges, our roadways, it's falling apart. It's a terrible thing to see. Our politicians are all talk, no action. Millions of people are flowing across our southern border. We've got to build a real wall. With all of this, our country has tremendous potential. Uh, so uh, you see a lot of the B-roll ha happening. You know, we don't really have the context of any of the things that uh, are being shown uh, on the images. And then you get that visual wallpaper, especially at the end where you've got the service members and the, the flag, uh, just that visual metaphor. So lots of B-roll just in the beginning of this uh, clip. Uh, now, this is more visual evidency. This is uh, something that was done like in the early 2000s, I think. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. It's a little old, but uh, you'll get the idea. And I just show a couple of minutes of it so you can see how it's working with with A-roll and, and visual evidence. Okay. As this is playing, I just have to tell you, this is Metal Arc's uh, John Deere F-350 truck. It's one of his favorites, a uh, truck he got it for his birthday. Uh, he also has uh, this Bronco, and it is, uh, this is Ka well, Cali got it, it's Cali's uh, Bronco, and then this is the Hummer, which is another really cool uh, car. I'll, I'll get to it in just a minute. Uh, so this goes on just uh, making an argument about, you know, how writing is changing. Um, and it just, you know, presents visual evidence, even showing classrooms later about how students are, are engaging with text, uh, you know, with their iPads and their laptops and being able to move things, arrange things versus, you know, this, the traditional, you know, you write something uh, on a pad. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have too much to say about filming, but these are some bits of advice that I have for you. Uh, tripods, a good camera or two, uh, quiet space so you can get the sound you need, you know, Get permission uh, from people. Uh, use it. Make sure that they're okay with you uh, using, uh, you know, their voice or anything like that. Um, get a variety of shots. Different angles are interesting. Uh, shoot before and after. So you know, push record. Wait a few seconds so that you've got that intro time. And then when you end, also wait a second and then push record, like ten seconds or so. So you make sure you can edit that. Um, Cacrapio is important for video and audio here, just like we've learned uh, in the past. You know, color, contrast, repetition, alignment, proximity, emphasis, and organization. These can all uh, be applied to your video in a project product. 
Uh, last thing, frame cutting points. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, when you are like filming people, um, you want to make sure that it doesn't look like you're dismembering them, uh, their limbs. Uh, so these are some suggestions. Uh, the correct ones over here, how you'd want to do it, and this is incorrect, uh, just where you can see uh, how the lines are being cut. So again, take a look at this. Uh, this will help you start to imagine uh, what you're doing with regards to, to your filming. I hope that made sense. Uh, good luck. Again, if you have any questions uh, for me or anything like that, uh, yeah, just um, go ahead and shoot me an email. We can talk about it. Uh, remember, uh, get these things turned in on time, and you only have two weeks left. So congratulations. See ya.